Hola, 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 guys. It's me, and I'm back. <laughs> I know it has been, I'm going to say it's been about a month since I have done a video, since I have been active on social media. Um, even now, like, me talking, I still don't feel quite myself. Um, but I figured I have to really get back in trying to do videos even my husband was telling me listen you know it's been a while try and get back into it um i don't know it's been kind of hard um i guess i've been going through life and i've been going through things um i haven't been feeling well i don't know if you hear it in my voice or not but i've been sick for a bit um actually i'm always getting sick um which it, it's funny in the beginning but then it it's it becomes exhausting when you're like always sick you're always have a cold you always are coughing you always have a sore throat you know the last time i was sick was probably like a month ago and here i am sick again um and just tired and just dealing with a lot of things and um i don't know i'm hoping to do this get ready with me just to try to get back into it um, and just, you know, do some products, show you some products um, and I guess chat and pretty much say what's been going on and what I've been, I guess, dealing with and feeling with. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so I have nothing on my face other than moisturizer. Um, as you can see, I am dealing with um, these pimple things. It's so annoying. Um, I'm going to be going ahead and I'm going to be using the high gloss face primer from NYX. Um, so yeah, so I've really been um, dealing with my face, first of all. Um, I don't know if it's something like, you know, you know, you get older and your skin changes, your face changes. You know, I personally, I have never really... Um, dealt with acne or pimples or anything like that I never I never had that issue you know what I mean so um it's kind of annoying to me and you know I don't mean you know I it's not like I want it to sound vain or anything like that like oh my gosh she's so into her looks or whatever um you just have to understand that I have never had that issue you know my parents they you know have I guess have always had good skin um you know, so I really never had the issue. Um, occasional pimples and things like that. Yeah, of course. I think everybody deals with that. Um, but lately I have, have been having more pimples than usual. Um, and I am specifically dealing with um, what they call blind pimples. If you don't know what a blind pimple is, um, they're basically pimples that are formed under your skin. Um, there is no... Um, whitehead so to say you know where you want to go ahead and pop it um they don't have it it's just you know bumps that are just under your skin um they're annoying sometimes they hurt um and they just take weeks and weeks and weeks on end to go away um and i would get it once in a blue um but i just feel like lately it's just been really out of control and I don't get it really particularly anywhere else I get it really particularly here um, in the chin area sometimes I'll get a pimple here like I have one here um, yesterday this or the day before this little one popped up um, so I'm just like <laughs> so like annoyed and upset um, so I, I mean, I didn't really completely change my skin regimen. Um, what I did was I got back on the hydrating skin primer from, uh, what's this place called? Uh, First Aid Beauty. Yeah. So I used to use the First Aid Beauty primer a lot. Um, and for one reason or another, I got off of it. Um, so I went back to... Um, you, you know, I went back to that. I noticed that I was dealing with a lot of dehydration on my face. Um, so I went back to that and I also purchased from them, um, these like acne wipes. Um, you know, they're pretty much like, you know, round wipes and you just wipe it. It's, uh, you know, wipe it on the affected area. So I just got that yesterday so i'm starting to use that and i also got um these you know those little blemish stickers that you just stick on it or whatever um because i did some research on it to try and see if i can take care of it at home um but if i don't get it under control in the next 
I don't know, a month or so or whatever, um, I'm probably just going to have to go to a dermatologist. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Born to Glow uh, foundation. And I have two colors. I'm going to be mixing them. Um, I have light porcelain and I have light ivory. Um, just because I feel one is way too light and then the other one is fine, but it's just a wee bit too yellow. So I find that if I mix the two, they actually look pretty okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's what I've been dealing with, I guess, health-wise. Um, just me always being sick and, you know, always being tired. Um, sadly, you know, it's kind of embarrassing to say, but, you know, I also know it's because I gained some weight. Um, I have definitely gained weight since I've gotten married. Um, <laughs> you know, and it's funny because people are like, oh, you know, that's happy weight, you know, that's because you're happy. Um, and I guess I understand it. I am, you know, very happily married. Love my husband to death. Um, but at being very happy, <coughs> um, you, you know, you're tired, <laughs> you know, so, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just a mix of everything, I guess. Um, just tired and dragging. Um, I don't eat like I should, you know, so, and, you know, it's also life. Life also gets in the way, and I, I'm not trying to make an excuse for anything, um, you know, but look, this is just how it is. There are people who have the time to go to the gym, to work out, to whatever, and then there's others that we just don't, you know what I mean? And I know I don't have kids or, or anything like that, um, but we all have... Um, you know, are things that we're dealing with. You know what I mean? And um, I just don't have time right now for that. I'm not even in the right mindset to do any of that. You know what I mean? Like, look how long it took me to get back on to do a freaking video. <laughs> you know, and I didn't even want to do that. You know, um, I don't know. I've just been really tired. Um, I have been dealing also with some bouts of sadness. Um, I also have been dealing with some anxiety. Um, none of this is new to me. I've been suffering from, um, anxiety for quite a while now. Um, I have dealt with depression since I was in high school. Um, and, you know, that comes up every once in a while. Um, you know, you just try to deal, you know, and it's not like particularly because a lot of people think, you know, oh, you know, it must be because they're not happy or whatever. And it's doesn't have anything to do with that at all you know um honestly I wish I can explain how one feels um when you feel lonely or when you feel sad or um I wish I can explain it um unfortunately I can't <laughs> it's just one of those things you know and it's not like um you know, someone can tell you, oh, well, you know, just get into it, you know, just snap out of it and, you know, do what you got to do. And um, it's not easy as that. If it was, I would have 500 videos by now up here all on YouTube, you know. Um, it just took a bit. Um, so if you're dealing with anxiety or, you know, bouts of sadness or depression, I, um, I'm there with you. <laughs> I totally, totally get you. Um, and it's a taboo subject, um, you know, what, what, can, what can I say, it's something that I, not everyone understands, and I totally get it. Um, boy, my eyebrows are just, whew. <laughs> Alright, uh, these brows, they just, they are gonna be done today, they look awful. Um, <laughs> so I used uh, the Anastasia Brow Pomade um, in Taupe. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and recreate, since I haven't been on here since like February, I'm going to try and recreate, you can come by honey, <laughs> you can come in honey, you can come in! <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and try and recreate, I guess, the look that I did for Valentine's Day, which I don't think was anything crazy. Um, and I'm going to use these brushes that I got in one of my boxes, I don't know if it was Boxy Lux. I'm not sure, um, but this is the Moda Pro by Royal and Lagnickel. 
um, five piece deluxe eye kit. So here they are. I haven't used them yet. I just took them out of the packaging. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. But before anything else, I should probably put on some concealer. Um, and I'm just going ahead and look for, where's that concealer? I do have the concealer for, ah, here it is. The Born to Glow Concealer. Um, and this is in the color, I think this is the same color like the Ivory. Light Ivory, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit of the Elf 16 Hour Camel um, Concealer. And this is in Fair Beige. This is a little lighter. So um, just so I have that nice um, balance under there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So as I was saying... Um, so yeah, those are the little things that I've been dealing with. Um, also dealing with new job. Um, I started the job, uh, it's been, I've been there three months already. So, um, I don't know. In the beginning, I was kind of struggling. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be there. Um, I don't know. It was just such a different environment. Um, I'm always used to working in, like, small offices. You know, I'm a paralegal. I've been a paralegal for, like, Years and years and years and years, that's all I know. <laughs> you know, um, but this company is like humongous. Like they have a whole bunch of attorneys, a whole bunch of paralegals, and um, it's really crazy. Um, so I just, I don't know, it just felt really overwhelming for me and it wasn't helping the anxiety um, that I already deal with. So it was that, um, dealing with different characters, um, different personalities. Um, and I honestly just wasn't sure if I wanted to stay. Um, honestly, I, honestly, I still have my moments where I'm like, do I see myself here full term? You know, um, you know, do I see myself here in the future wise or, you know, am I going to be here just a year or two or am I going to be, <laughs> you know, sometimes I still find myself battling with that. Um, I don't know. And I think that that kind of brings um, anxiety also, you know, just the fear or, you know, just not knowing, you know, just the unknown, you know, don't know what's going to happen in the future. And I don't know. I'm just not, I, I guess maybe I'm still struggling with the job, you know, and it's like the work, like the issue is not the work because the work I have to a T. Um, it's just, I guess, the environment. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I also I think I got this in my boxy charm box. Um, this is the um, everyday vacate coconut setting powder. So this is from um, Seattle, London, right? Yeah, Seattle, London. Um, I have been using this, and I do like it. So um, it's I like it. It's really fine pressed, and it smells really nice. It smells just like coconut. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this under here. The other eye. Mm -hmm. And it smells really nice. I mean, it definitely smells like coconut. Put some hair on these annoying pimples. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, maybe I'm, am I too old to go through a middle age pri uh, crisis? <laughs> oh man. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> Just like everything, my change in change in skin and. The way I'm feeling physically, um, just dealing with everything, even like kids, you know, like, I don't know, like we've been wanting, we've been trying, there has been nothing so far and I think that that is also something that <clears throat> has been weighing. And I know that everything comes in God's time, you know, so I shouldn't wait or, I don't know, it's just... It's a lot of stuff that we have not yet to process, so. Okay, so if you can find this palette, hallelujah to you. <laughs> this palette is discontinued. I don't know, maybe you can find it somewhere else. Um, but I really, really love this palette. Um, I had a backup. Um, it's the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics, and that is actually what I used um, because I wasn't trying to find anything. Um, you know, Valentine's Day was on a Friday. I had to go to work, so I wasn't trying to find, you know, go through like my whole spectacle of palettes. You know, this was there, and I used it, and that was it. 
<laughs> and that's it um, so I'm starting off with this kind of beige color here as you can see I'm already hitting pan in it um, because it's just such a nice um, overall color and I'm just putting this right on the outer lid and putting it in the crease and just blending in wow this blends really well and it's very soft this brush I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm hoping I can get this video up tonight hoping um and I just hope that I can begin to I guess start making videos again I've been really discouraged um, and it took it took a lot for me to say that <laughs> it took a lot for me to say that I'm definitely feeling discouraged um, just getting up out of bed um, is a struggle. Um, you know, going to work is a struggle. Um, just doing errands is a struggle. <laughs> um, even going to church, like I feel like getting up and doing the struggle, you know, and don't get me wrong, you know, um, I am a born again Christian, say that proudly, um, you know, does not mean that we're not going to go through trials doesn't mean that we're not going to go through issues you know um and i i kind of feel i and i guess i've always felt um that this has always been like the the thorn on my side <laughs> you know like this whole thing um with the anxiety and um the bouts of sadness or depression i feel like that's always been the thorn on my side it's always been something that has affected me <clears throat> and um okay so I, I already like kind of laid out my foundation my yeah my foundation on the eyes so i'm gonna go ahead and get this darker color now um and that's pretty much what i'm going to put um here in the eye and i'm going to put this at a blunt angle so you'll see that once i start blending in the color You know, I kind of feel like these brushes are too soft. <laughs> Which I guess is not a bad thing, but I kind of, I don't know, I guess maybe it makes blending a little bit, I don't know, just like a little bit harder, I guess. Just because they're so freaking soft. Oh gosh. I'm going to try my best. To okay, so it's looking a little better now. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah. Um, and another thing that I... Um, have been dealing with, um, I think, um, I don't know, just my, the changing of my skin has really been affecting me. Um, I've also noticed that I think part of the reason why I stopped lining, um, because I used to line my eyes a lot, not only because I just haven't had time, um, you know, to go to work and things like that, honestly, I feel like it's kind of starting to like droop the eyelid a little bit just just like it's starting to sag a little bit um and i've been i've noticed that um and it sucks <laughs> you know um, i'm gonna go back to this light color just to highlight on the brow bone yeah so i think that i don't know i just feel like what's going on <laughs> what's going on with my body <laughs> you know um I mean, for those of you who may not know, um, and it's really nice when people think that, you know, I'm like in my 20s or whatever. <laughs> I wish I was. I'm not. Um, I am um, I am 37, y'all. <laughs> so I have the idea to prove it. <laughs> you can't believe, I mean, I, I, it's just crazy, like the amount of people that like look at me and they're like, no, no, you're not. And I'm like yeah I am <laughs> you know so while it is a very nice thing um, that people don't believe that um, but yeah it's true <laughs> so I'm going into this shorter brush that's in the in the packet and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this highlighting color this is used for highlighting but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my lid and I'm gonna put it over here in the inner lid and I like this because this definitely packed up the color really nicely um, and I'm just going to put it here, also put it in the tear duct, which I don't like to do too much because 
I get eye boogies quite often. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. This brush is really good. I really like this. Um, and it's definitely packed on the color. So that is an awesome thing. But yeah, so um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just feel like these past couple weeks that have gone by, I just have not been myself at all um and i try to but i just feel like it's a struggle to do anything it's a struggle to clean it's a struggle to go to work it's a struggle to get up in the morning it's just everything has been a struggle um you know and i don't know why maybe i'm just going through a bout of sadness or whatever but um yeah so that's pretty much what i've been going through so i'm gonna try and not talk so much about <laughs> the issue, but this was a get ready with me and chat thing. So, you know, I figured that I would tell you what was going on. And I know it's not like I have, um, you know, a million subscribers or anything like that. But, you know, I do have my my little bit of subscribers, which I appreciate very much. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, one day I really get up there with subscribers. Um, I think that'll make me a little happy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take the same brush and just put some color on the bottom. And these brushes are really soft and they're um, they're actually really perfect for um, the bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this contour kit that my friend actually gave me a while ago um, in Puerto Rico. This is the Celavi Contour Kit. So I never really heard of the brand. I'm gonna be using my complex culture, right? Complex culture brush. I got this from one of my past boxes. Um, oh, it's wet. I washed my brushes last night. Okay, I can't use this brush. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have to have to substitute. So I'm gonna be using this NYX Professional um, brush. <laughs> um, and while this really isn't contour, so to say, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't really contour that crazy anyway. Um, just to, just want to warm up the face a little bit. Actually, this isn't too bad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my blush. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Palette. And these basically have pinks in it. So I'm going to use a pink today since I'm wearing pink. I figure let's put in some pink blush. And you know, what I like about these blushes is that they're really pigmented, so a little goes a long way. You don't really have to put so much. You just press it a little bit. And I'm just gonna be putting that. And then I'm thinking maybe I should just go ahead and use the highlighter um, that's in the Carly Bible kit since I have it out. And then I have to put some mascara on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the same highlighting color with the highlighting brush. I don't know, maybe I should wet it. I mean, I see it. It's, it's there. <laughs> I just, just know how I am. I am just spoiled. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put on some powder. I'm going back to the regular coconut setting powder. Um, and I'm just going to put some on my brush and just sweep it around my face, especially those areas where I am oily, particularly down here. So I'm going to just do that. Mm, I just love how it smells. It smells so nice. And it looks really nice. I really like um, the finished, very fine milk powder, so I'm definitely liking that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and I'm going to use the Go Big or Go Home mascara from KVG Beauty. Did I say that right? I guess. <laughs> I'm going to put that on. Okay, so I think on Valentine's Day I wore a red lip. Um, but I'm wearing pink today um, and I'm feeling kind of pinky. So I'm going to go ahead and use a pink lip. Um, this is the Maybelline. Uh, what's it called? Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. Um, and this is in number 10, the color Dreamer. And um, just remember to have this one lying around. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And while I love this color um, and the formulation, 
um, this is a little bit sticky so if you were thinking of getting this color um, just know that there are times where um, the formula is sticky and it I feel like it doesn't dry down all the way but the staying power is pretty good okay so I'm going to finish off my look and set it with the Morphe mattifying continuing continuous setting mist mm -hmm. Why do I feel like this finished already? I don't know. Okay guys, so here is my look. I'm um, just kind of a sort of recreation of what um, I wore on Valentine's Day minus lashes and eyeliner. <laughs> so um, I wanted to keep it simple, um, especially because I'm just still not feeling all that wonderful. But honestly, um, even though I haven't been wearing a lot of eyeliner because of what I think I'm seeing as far as my eyelid kind of drooping a little bit. Um, honestly, I've kind of gotten used to not wearing eyeliner and I actually am liking how my eyeshadow looks without liner. It doesn't mean I'm never going to wear eyeliner again um, because I do from time to time. But when I don't and I just, you know, use the eyeshadow and just, you know, my natural eyelashes or whatever, I actually like the look as well. So, um, so here it is. I hope that you enjoy the look. Um, if you lasted until the end of this video, thank you. <laughs> um, I know I was talking about a lot of stuff and it's not even, and that's just like some things, you know, if I go on here and tell you everything that I'm feeling and going through, then we would be here till tomorrow, <laughs> you know? Um, but you know, I am, uh, trying to stay positive, um, that things, you know, I'm going to look up. There are things that we go through, you know, if you feel like you're going through the same thing, um, try and talk to someone. Don't keep it to yourself. Um, I know how easy it is to keep things to yourself because I do it all the time. Um, which is probably why I have, you know, felt like extra, <laughs> you know, why I've had these like extra feelings because, um, I've kept it in. Um, I, I talked to my husband, Sometimes I I don't want to and I just try not to tell him only because I really don't want to burden him But you know, that's how life is. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being on here I'm still trying to get to my thousand subscribers. Um, I'm still um, going to do that giveaway once I get there So if you have not subscribed subscribe um, Subscribe and help me grow uh, So we can grow together in this journey of makeup and beauty and life so, um, happy International Women's Day to all of you brave ladies out there. We are the ones that keep the world going. <laughs> or, you know, or most of it anyway. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, um, I will still, you know, I will get back into the groove of putting up videos. And that's it. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.